how to run dynamic web project in Eclipse on Tomcat. So today we will learn how to create a dynamic web application in Eclipse and then run on the Tomcat. So we are going to run the dynamic web project from Eclipse on the Tomcat server. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, we are going to create a new dynamic web project. I am giving the name dynamic project, dynamic web project. Click next, next, and uh, finish. So this is our dynamic web project and under source main, under Java, we will have our Java code and under web app, we are going to place the dynamic web application. So under web app, we are going to place the dynamic pages. So uh, I will create one JSP page, right click, new then JSP index.jsp click next and finish So this is our dynamic web application where we have a one file into the web app directory index.jsp. When we run this application on Tomcat, the index.jsp content will be displayed onto the browser. So when I click run as on server, then we have many different options, Apache, Tomcat is here and there and there are other web servers that you can use. So uh, we need the Tomcat 10.1 on our machine to run this application. So visit the website tomcat.apache.org slash download hyphen 10.cgi and here we will find the links to download the tomcat version 10.x so 10.1.28 is the latest version of tomcat at the time of recording of this tutorial so uh, the download is available in zip tart gz Windows 30 bit zip and so on. I am going to download zip file and uh, it is downloading. It is simply 13.0 MB in size, so it's a very small. And uh, once it is downloaded, I will show you how you can move this file into any directory of your choice uh, so let's wait now it is completely downloaded i am moving this tomcat zip file into a directory in the c drive uh, next we have to extract the file I will 
so it is extracted here and inside tomcat we have bin directory which contains the executable files uh, the sh files and batch file for running the tomcat uh, under conf we have configuration file to configure your tomcat server under lib these are the jar files that we need to run the tomcat and under logs tomcat stores all the runtime log files temp is also used for some internal processing and under web apps we can put our web application by default docs examples host manager manager and root are the application that comes with the default tomcat under work tomcat creates the temporary file for example tomcat compiles your uh, uh, gsp file into the java and class files and it stores shares and these are other documents so uh, i will copy this directory and go to the eclipse and i'll show you how to run it uh, from beginning so we developed the application and created one index.jsp file to run it right click and then run as on server select tomcat select the version 10.1 click next and it is asking for the tomcat install directory so i entered the directory here then click next and here we have the option to deploy the application so by default dynamic web project is already selected into the deployment uh, part so we are going to finally click on finish so after clicking on finish this application is deployed and uh, in the browser you can see the welcome message is printed next i will show you uh, how you can uh, modify this code and uh, test in runtime so java.util.date is uh, class which is going to return the current date and time so i copied it and just saved it by pre pressing ctrl plus s now if i go to the browser and if refresh you can see the date is changing so this way you can create your dynamic web project in eclipse add a simple gsp file and run it next i will show you how you can write a for loop inside the in the gsp file int i equal to 0 and uh, i is i is less than 10 i plus plus uh, we need to do some work and what i want to do is uh, under the tag i am going to print the value of i So this is going to print the number from 1 to 9, sorry 0 to 9. We refresh it and you can see it is printing 0 to 9. So, so this way you can cre create the 
dynamic web project in Eclipse and develop and test the application from the Eclipse ID. So in this tutorial, I showed you the steps to create and run dynamic web project from Eclipse into the Tomcat server. And here you can see the Tomcat is running. And uh, if you go to the console, it is printing the uh, Tomcat log messages. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel.